Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Audrey's Reading Area. Yes, yes, yes. The holidays are coming around and I have all these fun and exciting books that I'll be reading to you. So please subscribe so you get to see all of them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the fun and exciting book that I'm going to be reading to you today is... Hmm. Sophia the First. Holiday in Enchantia. Holiday in Enchantia. This is a Sophia the First. This is written by Catherine Hapka. Illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team. Yes, Sophia the First. Special appearance by Aurora. Let's see what it says in here. Sophia is looking forward to her first Wasalia holiday as a princess. It's sure to be a lot different from the humble holiday she always celebrated with her mother. There will be parties, presents, and fancy decorations galore. But then King Roland goes missing on Wasalia morning. And everyone is frantic. Can Sophia's animal friends and a, and a visit from a very special princess help uh, reunite her family in time to discover the true meaning of Arcelia? Can it? Hmm. Let's see. I'm Sophia and I am one excited princess. This will be my first Wasalia holiday in the castle. I don't want to miss a second of it. I'm used to spending a quiet Wasalia with mom. But James and Amber say that here in the castle, Wasalia is really different. There's a ton of food, a giant Wasalia willow, a fancy Wasalia candle, and lots and lots of gifts. Happy Wasalia, Amber, I say. It will be if I get that unicorn I've been asking for, she says. Just then my mom comes in. Where's dad, James asks. Mom says he's out on urgent royal business with, with Bailiwick. He'll be back in time for the party, though, she says. While I wait for Dad to get back, I go to visit Minimus, my favorite flying horse. But when I get to the stable, I find out that all the other horses have coals. Ooh. Minimus is okay, though. He tells me that even though the other horses are sick, He's glad to spend the holiday with me. It has started snowing again by the time I get back to the castle and dad's still not home. Shouldn't he be back by now, I ask? Amber nods. It's almost time for the party. Mom asks Constable Miles to look for the king. I want to go too, I say. If she's going, I'm going, says James. Why don't we all go, says Mom. We can take the flying coach. Minimus is the only flying horse healthy enough to pull the coach. Minimus can do it, I say. I'm not so sure about that, Minimus mutters. As our coach takes off, I see Clover, Robin, and Mia hop onto the, ha the back. I guess they want to help find my dad, too. Soon the coach is flying over the road. I look down and spot the royal horses, but there's no sign of the royal coach. Uh-oh. The storm is getting worse, Constable Miles says. We need to turn around. I shake my head. We can't go back until we find Dad. Then the forest disappears in a flurry of snow. It's a blizzard. Poor Minimus, I can tell. 
He's really scared, but he lands the coach safely. Constable Miles wants everyone to wait inside the coach until the storm passes. But Mom knows how worried I am about Minimus, so she lets me check on him. What are we going to do, Minimus, I say? We have to find Dad. Suddenly, my amulet starts to glow and Princess Aurora appears. Princess Aurora, I cry, did you come to help us? It's not my help you need, Aurora replies. I can always count on my animal friends to help me through tough times and so can you. When I see Clover, Robin, and Mia, I think that Aurora might be right. Maybe my animal friends can help. I ask them to ask the creatures of the woods to help search for the king. Pretty soon the message spreads through the whole forest. We must find the king. Then they see him. Before long, Robin and Mia return with good news. We found him. Amber looked puzzled. What are your birds doing here? Uh-oh, I can understand what they're saying, but everyone else just hears chirping. I have to think fast. Um, I think they're trying to tell us something. Luckily, I convinced everyone to follow the animals. Minimus pulls the coach through the snow until it comes to a cozy little wood cabin. Cabin. We knock on the door. Guess who's inside? Dad. How did you find me? He asks us. It's a Wasalian miracle, I say, giving him a big hug. How did you end up here? Dad admits to everyone that his urgent royal business was actually going to town to find gifts for us. But the road back to the castle was icy and the royal coach got stuck in the snow. Luckily, says Bailiwick, this kind woodsman found us and invited us to take shelter in his cabin with his family. This is what holidays are all about, Dad says, spending time with your loved ones. I look at all the gifts my dad has for us, and I know what to do. Happy Wasalia, I say, giving my presents to the woodsman children. Then I help Mom and Dad light the Wasalia candle. Well, my first Wasalia with my new family isn't exactly like I expected, but we are spending it together, and that makes it the best holiday ever. The end. The end. Wow. You guys know that was fun and exciting. I had fun reading it to you, and I hope you guys had fun and you enjoyed hearing me read it to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me here at Audrey's Reading Area. Don't forget to share my videos and hit subscribe. See you soon.